busy day at work today, but it should be good. And then for lunch, I'm meeting up with my friend Brian Morante, who works on SpongeBob at Nickelodeon. That'll be fun. Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Animated. When, when did you first start watching my channel? Uh, two years ago. Two years? Yeah. It's, been, like a, it's been super helpful, actually. Yeah. I switched over to a darker um, horror sketch. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I really like that, and I really like the way that you just draw it. It's just inspiring. Love it. How about you? You said you've been uh, Yeah, about like two years, and like it, your channel really has helped me. Oh, how yeah. so? <laughs> uh, like, just like like I've watched like your videos like uh, like you had the one like how to make appealing characters and, like just the way you're saying like you have to have a story going on like that really helped me like try to like, come up with like better characters like oh what if it like this happened to this instead of just like oh here's a guy that's awesome yeah. <laughs> the worst in day because yeah. so many people stop and ride yeah they <laughs> um, what would you two suggest for like about getting your foot in the door and like trying to figure out how to like make it we live in Utah away from the main center of all I just run into someone yeah you can't I'm a cat just run into whoever here what would you suggest on getting it out there I don't know, make good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Have skill. Step I number mean, it's, one. It's, it sounds overly simplified, but that's what's... Um, make undeniably good stuff. Or reach for that. Like, I mean, we don't know anybody. He, he did characters for like, was it 10 years? Or 7 years? 9 years, yeah. Yeah, before he even made it out here and he drew like tons of cartoons and comics before that too so when he got out here he wasn't desperate to get a job oh well he was desperate but like it wasn't he had the skills to back it up he, it wasn't like somebody was doing him a favor to give him a job he actually had the chops whereas if you if you get out here and you, you <laughs> sneak into a job or something and you don't have the skills to back it up you're just gonna like regret it <laughs> you're gonna be, be like stressed out about it like will's from texas i'm from san diego even though san diego is like two hours away it could it might as well be utah you know like it's you're, you don't know anybody up here so. i didn't know it having any contacts or anything so. it's good that you're like in this big group of people because some of them will get in some of your friends will get in and those are your peers in the industry and they're going to keep working for the rest of your life and so you've got these connections that are like, hey, can, hey, since you got in, can I like have lunch with you and just ask questions? Yeah. Like I, I okay. for almost four years before I got hired, I would come visit him at Nickelodeon and be like, hey, can I see all your storyboards? And like, you know, I didn't realize how annoying that must have been, but. <laughs> but I did that like every. I would come out from Texas like twice a year sometimes, and they'd be like, show me everything, and then. <laughs> and I got a feel for what it actually looked like instead of what I thought it looked like in my head. There's a lot you can do where you're at now to develop your skills. And once you get out here, uh, you're not just starting from scratch. What is the competition in the industry like right now? Like, because I mean, I, I see a lot more people like this now than probably there was a couple of years ago. Here's the thing: it is really, 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 really hard to get to the level that you get hired. Once you get to that level. 
fairly easy to keep getting work done. So it's don't think about it as competition with other people in the room. Think about it. Think about it as getting up to your fullest potential, and then you become like Brian, where people like try and steal him all the time from other students. <laughs> Here, take all our money. You know, you want to be that good, and that way you're not competing with anybody. They're coming to you, um, and so yeah, getting those first jobs, it, it's pretty like there is a lot of competition because there's tons. Of, everybody says they want to do it. But the ones that really, really succeed, it was real it's like it's it just comes out of them. It's like they're breathing. So you want to be that person. So whatever it takes to get those skills, they, like you don't have to think about it so much. You're just like expressing yourself creatively through animation. How long have you worked on SpongeBob? I've been on SpongeBob for a year and a half. But I've worked at Nickelodeon for. This is my seventh year, sixth year. Bending was fine. Started in 20. I usually have a cameraman for when I eat. I just like oh, being on the <laughs> bus <laughs> and yeah. Uh, so what do you do to keep yourself sane while working on like a frustrating project? <laughs> that, that's becoming a professional. You just gotta do it. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm working on uh, on an animation right now. So I I suck at walk cycles, but I decided to do a deer animation. That was the worst mistake of my life. And I'm, and I'm too far ahead to quit now. I'm, I'm trying to like push myself to keep on working at it, but oftentimes I find myself wanting to give up. Think of it like a this problem you're tackling right now is like a bubble, and this is how much you're capable of doing is inside of this little bubble. The problem you want is just outside of that bubble. Once you finally like tackle that part, it's like, whoop, the bubble just got bigger. That's what you're capable of now. And then you got another problem up here. Oh, bloop. Now I can do this much. Now I can do this much. You know, and it just keeps going. So it's hard while you're doing it. But you look back on it, you got so many more skills in the long run because of it. Yeah, I think you just have to like just push and like just keep hitting it because like that was a job like you can quit now like you can just put that aside and do something easier but if it was a job you couldn't do that like well i decided we shouldn't have a deer in this show <laughs> uh, or at least he shouldn't walk he actually floats <laughs> so, so it's like i've been in situations working on something i'm like this is not working and i just have to keep hitting it until it works and just keep going back to it to the point of like well it was a good run I'm, i'll be fired but, uh, <laughs> uh, at least that you know so it's just like keep hitting it keep hitting it because i have no choice and there's a deadline also and then all of a sudden it, something breaks and it was like that works. That feeling doesn't ever go away. Okay. Like, no, yeah, it's not like... <laughs> I still we, feel like I'm going to be fired every day. We <laughs> haven't gotten to some threshold where now we're these superhumans. It's like, we're just, and everyone at these studios are just you guys maybe a little older yeah. more experienced. I, I rarely met that. anybody that still doesn't feel like Oh, I'm going to be fired today. The thing is, you get used to the feeling after a while. You're like, this is just normal. And if I do get fired, somebody else will hire me or you know, stick a vacation for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Did you already see this? What was that? Like see oh, no. Okay. no, 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 no. It's not like a Which one? What are your guys' views on like college readiness? Like we're not, uh, some of us can't afford to go to um, Cal Arts. You didn't go to anime. I went to Cal Arts at, on a tour. <laughs> no, no art director is going to ask for your degree. That's what you're asking. You go to art school for to have a peer group. They are going to go into the industry because people that work in Cal Arts they give each other jobs for the rest of their careers. So that's really important. And they do teach you a lot. They give so you a lot of skills. So go hang around CalArts and make some friends. <laughs> but it's, that's not yeah. the only way in. What I go back to the thing we said at the beginning, which was you just have to be really, really, really good. And then people don't ask questions. I, they don't care how you got there. They just, they're just they glad that you're working for them. I've seen a lot of people um, try to... Um, it's almost as if they're waiting for permission to be better. So it's like... Once I get into college, then they'll teach me how to do this or that, and I'll figure it out. It's like that. 
or you could just take that into your own hands. Thank you so much. Uh, sure. Thank you to our Look camera woman. Well, yeah. You did a great job. What's your name? Annette. Annette, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be doing a working lunch. I know. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Brian. No problem. <laughs> it's the least I could do, eat lunch at lunchtime. We're just going to Mora's Deli for lunch because uh, I don't know if you noticed on the wall, there's all those cartoons and drawings from local animators. We walked in and it was like, whoa, what are all these people doing here? And they asked us to sit down because they're an animation club in town touring. Uh, so yeah, we sat down and had to talk with them and that was pretty awesome. If for anybody that's watching this was in that crowd, thank you for being so nice and uh, had a lot of fun. I know Brian had a lot of fun. Good luck with your careers. I hope we offered some good advice. Man, I'm still buzzing about that lunch today. That was that was so much fun. I take it as a good sign that I'm on the right track with doing videos again. It seems like whenever I like make a decision and start moving forward on something, the universe responds with something like that. We had no idea those kids were going to be there. <laughs> so we actually spent about 45 minutes talking to them and I'm going to try and put the whole whole conversation up on my channel so I'm gonna make it as a separate video outside of the blog and so you're welcome to check it out if you want to so for tonight for my hundred days of making comics I'm gonna spend 30 minutes writing I'm gonna try and come up with a two-page story that I could quickly pencil out tomorrow so that's it for today keep smiling I'll see y'all tomorrow bye